So a few weeks back, V-Man released his 512 gigabyte retro bliss image that a lot of people loved. I did a video on how to expand it to a hard drive, you know, showing you the postscript, showing you some of the features and why it's um, a really nice customized image. And then he made a re-release. The re-release, there was not all that much, but there was a few little changes. So in this video, we're checking out the re-release version. We're also gonna share with you some additional features and things that maybe I didn't cover in the first video. We'll also check out some gameplay. And then I wanna share with you some new news about this USB expansion idea that he's working on right now, where you can add an additional hard drive to your Raspberry Pi to throw maybe one extra terabyte worth of games, you know, or one gigabyte worth of games. Um, so anyways. Let's check it out. So if you were playing with the old image, you're probably fine just keeping it. The real big changes were added in a couple games and ports, a couple little fixes. A lot of those fixes though can be fixed by just doing the V-Man build post fixes. So I don't necessarily think it's worth all that effort to go out and you know re-get this and set it all up again. It seems like a pain. I did it just to show you guys the difference so you can see for yourselves. Now, if this is your first time in the image, uh, this is by far right now my favorite Raspberry Pi 4 image, but these are the early days. But still, to my point, it's a really solid image. It's everything you want. It's all working for HDTVs, monitors, you name it. I've never had an issue with this particular image. And something if you don't know about v-man is he's got this big community and people always say oh do you know like sonic sonic advance 2 there's actually like it doesn't boot you know it goes into the game but then after you know and so he actually goes in and changes the cores out the you know assigns the correct emulator to them now it's is can you find one little mistake yes but compared to a lot of other images i review this one is definitely up there now please don't get me wrong there's a lot of great image creators out there there's you know really nice raspberry pi 3 and 3b images that i couldn't say are necessarily better um, they're different and they're great so keep that in mind that this is uh, my comment is strictly for the raspberry pi 4 before you lose your whatever okay so um it's just really well optimized and we're going to talk about these scripts here in a second but um, some other really big things to note is the PSPs are all working. Some people throw in PSP games that don't really run very well. The Scum VM is one of the bigger collections I've ever seen. The PlayStation collection, he's using compressed files. So you can, he can pr put more PlayStation games on the 512 than possible. Now, hint, hint, here's where I'm going to share with you some new news. That he's working on a script right now, or not working on it, they have it. He's working on add-on packs, right? So you go over here to options. And basically, it's a USB mode script. Yeah, here it is. And you can choose to expand the ROM file to an external USB um, drive. So think about this. You have a 512 gigabyte SD card, but you're out of space now. And a one terabyte SD card is just way too much money. So what if you want more PlayStation games? Or what if you want more Dreamcast games? Those games are like sometimes a gigabyte each. So what you would do is you would turn that mode on, add a USB 3.0 hard drive to your Raspberry Pi 4, enable that script, download the correct packs, and again, he's gonna actually start making these packs, and then you can add a PlayStation pack. So you can have, right now it's um, 400 games, 400 PS games. You can literally have thousands of PlayStation games, potentially. You, you hook up an eight terabyte hard drive, you could have the entire PSP collection. So at that point, you literally can just limit out the Raspberry Pi. You can have the entire Nintendo 64 collection, G Dreamcast collection, PS1 collection. Now that's honestly all, and PSP, that's honestly all that's gonna you're gonna wanna run on the Raspberry Pi 4, but hey, maybe there's gonna be a Raspberry Pi 5 and we can get Sega Saturn, maybe some Dolphin on there. Nintendo DS, another system where with the external hard drive you can expand because there are only 252 games. Although in, in my mind, that's plenty of games. <laughs> but again, people always want more. So in short, everything from Atari, even Atari 7200, Naomi, Atomus Wave, Nintendo 64, Nintendo DS, you got it all on here. You can max out the Raspberry Pi 4 with this image. It's very nice. And it definitely makes the Raspberry Pi 4 worth it. This is something he optimized as well. I believe he has these running under PPSSPP now. So that's running really well. Sega CD, over 100 games. Terminator's on here. Sonic CD, all your classics running really good. 
Now, there are some collections here. These are just like all the beat em up games. And he has like a collection, something to check out as well. So the one thing this doesn't have a lot of is those hack games, but he does throw those in there. He throws kind of maybe some of the, the more interesting ones. You can see like, for example, on favorites here, he has some, some hack games. Like that's pretty cool. It looks a lot like new Super Mario Brothers U. Right, so there are some. Kung Fury is on here. So there are some hacks on here. There's not like the whole hacked pack. Now, and while a lot of those games are not that great anyways, so it's not a huge, it's not a huge deal breaker. And then you have your, his favorites. There's some really good games in here. I'll just do a short scroll, you know, to show you some games. You, If you haven't been playing yet, you gotta, you gotta boot up your pie in this quarantine and enjoy. Now, once I show you these favorites, the next thing I wanna show you is some of those scripts and things. There's lots of different themes on this image that uh, you can customize. A lot of pinball games if you're into pinball. Salamanders 2 is a great game. I believe a lot of people forget to put that game on their arcade set, but it's really good. So yeah, Tekken. I wonder if the, how that runs. Oh, it's PSP. That probably runs just fine. Couple Terminator games, Tron games. Wow, really good stuff. All right, in the minute details, so background music scripts, typically it was on or off. Now you can go over and you can actually set how loud you want your background music. You can also now set how loud you want your introduction movie. Then when you boot up these pies, they have these little splash screen movies and you can go ahead and alter that volume so it doesn't blow out your ears or scare you when you first turn on your TV. It's got those V-Man uh, postscript fixes. As long as you're connected to the internet, you can run that and he'll add additional fixes and scripts like that USB mode we were talking about. That is a new feature they've added. Um, also, the making the splash screens a little um, less loud, you could do that. And then here you go, you got the two plays, play box. Look at all these scripts. Scripts like changing the OMX player, you know, fixing your splash screen, resetting your, your save states and things like that. Really, really great scripts that you don't have to go Googling all over the place to figure out if you want to get uh, something done or not. You don't have to hook a keyboard up, all that stuff. That's something a lot of people don't appreciate is just how you never have to plug in a, a, a keyboard with the majority of this image, which is a big deal when you have this hooked up to your TV and you're sitting on your couch and you don't want to get up. <laughs> but uh, anyways, just these scripts are very, very well done. I have those missiles. Oh, I don't know what killed me there. I think something came from behind. Oh, wow. Look at these eyes. Pretty gnarly. Woo! Oh, I hit that alien membrane over there. Behind that. That's cool, you can play multiple players. Use your analog stick to um, push down. Boom. Boom. Oh. Uh oh, that's not good. Okay. Oh. 
through the middle yep see these are running in PPSP now pretty cool so you can quick load or just go back to your go back to your um, you know emulation station and you can do a lot of settings there you can mess with the um, you know you can mess with the the graphics, you can lower them and higher the res, you know, depending on if you're overclocking or not. And then uh, if there's Vulcan support at some point, you know, you can really get into some cool stuff. As you see, it's, it's, it's full screened as well. You can mess with the resolution. There we go. It's looking pretty good. Alright, let's check out the game settings. Two. Let's try three. Keep having heart. What It's a little bit of frame skipping, but oh, <laughs> and a lot of lot of uh whoa double a First place. <laughs> Not first place. Whoa, that mini had some jumps. Oh, almost lost my. Oh, whoa. Whoa. Dropping it on two wheels. And this guy's a punk. Second place. First place. Man, first place. Just wanted to get to rear end me. <laughs> wow, this game looks so great. Does this guy have momentum? I feel like he has. Oh, I feel like I can get up there. Oh. Oh, so close. Oh, it disables. All right. All right, and you can save it too. Just hit your triggers. You can pick a specific. Let's go level X. Let's see what this is all about. Ah, the old. Ah, the old Christmas level. Oh, 
Oh, I died. Final thoughts. Um, like I said, I love the image before. It might not necessarily be worth upgrading. I love the post fixes. I love some of the new ports. And if there's a game that I didn't know was broken and now it's fixed, I mean, I never appreciated it, but it's good that that's taken care of. Um, the USB, um, you know, uh, ex expansion where you're going to be able to put it on a hard drive. And so you're going to have the 512 on a local SD card and then you're going to have your, you know, ROMs on a separate hard drive is amazing. I think a lot of people want that. A lot of people, when I first made this review, were like, I don't want to buy a 512. Can I, you know, put the whole thing on a hard drive? And yes, you can. I made a video about that. So, I mean, ideally, you could just do that, is put the 32 gigabyte SD card, have the main OS on that operating system, and then have the rest of this image on a hard drive, and then add on packs and ROMs as you want. Um, for some of you, that's really easy to do. Just get the right ROM to the right artwork and change the game lists and you're good to go. But for those of you that don't want to do all that, I'm sure Virtual Man himself will be making these packs and having them ready to go. So it's literally a drag and drop. Um, but anyways, check out his forum. I'll link it in the description below. That's where he has all this stuff and he talks about it and he does a lot of troubleshooting. Um, yes, donations are appreciated to him. Uh, that's totally up to you and it's not required. Um, I do know that there are some you know, questions in order to get into the forum and that's just so he can know that you're a real person, you're not a robot, you're not something else. But um, the people that have been in there have all been positive to me about it. It's usually people who can't get in that are the ones that are complaining. So um, anyways, I'm not a part of that. I just wanted to give you guys a heads up if you're wondering what was going on. Um, and uh, so back to the image. Great stuff. Love it. Two thumbs up. Um, you know, the Pi 4 definitely delivered as far as that incremental performance. And, um, you know, I didn't say in this video, but look how smooth this, you know, this experience is. The old Pi cannot do that. You couldn't just hard scroll like this and have the video snap snap up so quickly. So um, with all that, with the additional N64 and Naomi and PSP performance, it's definitely solid, solid stuff. So anyways, that's what I think. Let me know what you all think. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one.